The modern age is the age of Dajjal. The greatest fitna, said the Prophet the greatest fitna, fitna means a test or a trial, imtihad, the greatest fitna that mankind will experience from the time of Nabi Adam alayhi salam to the last day would be the fitna of Dajjal. When the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam taught the subject of Dajjal, he pointed us to us, he pointed out to us that the most dangerous element in the attack of Dajjal is his one eye implying that he has only external sight and that he is internally blind and that he seeks to reduce mankind to a state of internal blindness so that all of mankind will be like him seeing only with the external sight. The Prophet went on to point out that the child comes with two things. What are they? Very river and a fire. But his river is a fire and his fire is the cool waters of a river indicating that things are not what they appear to be. I'm sure some Calypsonian must have sung on this subject sometime over the last hundred years. Eh? That things are not what they appear to be. That appearance and reality were completely opposite to each other. And if you see with only one eye, you will make your judgment based only on the external appearance. You will get a six for a nine, you'll be deceived, you make a mistake, and you lose your faith. <laughs> Those who see with one eye are people who do not recognize Allah. Do not recognize Allah as the Lord, the one who is supreme. And do not submit with humility to their Lord. Musa alayhi salam made the mistake. He said, yes, I am the most learned of all men. And from the time he did that, his internal sight is cut off. And then Allah says, no, there's someone more learned than you are. And who is he? Khidr alayhi salam. Khidr means green. Indicating that this is a man whose knowledge his knowledge is ever green, it's fresh, it's like a fresh breeze. It is knowledge which does not perish, imperishable. It is knowledge which is not mechanically acquired or mechanically transmitted. Hmm? It is dynamic, it is living. It touches the heart and it brings the heart to life, it makes the heart into pulse. That is the knowledge of Khidr alayhi salam. Then when he met him, when Musa alayhi salam met him, there were three events. The boat, the boy, and the wall. And on all three occasions, Musa alayhi salam was wrong. And on all three occasions, Khidr alayhi salam was right. Why? Here is the crucial ayah of Surah al -Kahf. The crucial ayah, Allah says, about Khidr alayhi salam. وَآتَيْنَاهُ رَحْمَةً مِّنْ عِنْدِنَا and we grant it to him rahma min indina from us rahma kindness 
to be kind, to show kindness. وَعَلَّمْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّ عِلْمَ A knowledge which is with us. Which is with us, Allah. We transmitted that knowledge to him directly. So he didn't get that knowledge through his own personal effort. External observation and rational inquiry. No, that knowledge came to him directly from Allah. Internal, intuitive, spiritual insight. Because Khidr alayhi salam was blessed with this kind of knowledge, it was possible for him to penetrate beyond the external form or appearance of things to reach the internal reality. That is why he was able to read correctly. What is the price that we pay if we do not, we do not struggle to get that ability to see with the internal side, with the heart. What is the price that we will pay if we do not see with the heart? What is the price we pay if we adopt this one eye epistemology? A big word. Epistemology. A big word. It means that branch of knowledge which studies knowledge. Epistemology. What is the price that we pay if we adopt that epistemology? That knowledge comes only from external observation, experimentation, rational inquiry. Knowledge does not come from internal spiritual insight. The answer is, now listen carefully. This analysis actually comes from my teacher, Maulana Fadl Rahman Ansari Rahim. I'm just telling you what he taught us now. If knowledge comes from external observation, then only that can be known which can be observed. Let's repeat that. If knowledge comes only from external observation, then only that can be known which can be observed. This material world is the only world that we can observe. Hence, it's the only world we can know. Let's repeat that. This material world is the only world we can observe. Hence, it's the only world we can know of our own effort. The modern world declares, since this is the only world we can know, it follows that this is the only world which exists. Huh? Since this is the only world we can know, it follows that this is the only world which exists. In other words, there is no reality beyond material reality. Welcome to materialism. Welcome to materialism. 